Caledonia Clippers got back to winning ways with an 81 for 60 win over Brian Chase Academy on Sunday evening. It was Clippers' first win since signing the duo of Kurt Koto Christian and Adrian Joseph. And guess what? Neither of them, or Ako Pascal, played. Ian Wayson was at the Jean Pierre Sports Complex. After losing their last two games, Clippers needed to win. But this shot from Nathan Lewis for Brian Chase Academy did not help their cause. Then Kirk Batiste's off the glass basket kept Clippers in front as they started to dictate the pace. Sean Lawrence pulling the rebound and scoring the second chance points kept the Clippers lead at 50-38. The center from Maloney scoring off the glass here, 16 points the lead, 59-43. The Clippers dominated the fourth quarter, the passing game resulting in two points for Clippers and a 20-point lead, Clippers in control. This effort from Gary Barkley not making a difference, down by 18. But Miguel Williams put it back up to 20, 65-45. Not even a late surge from Brian Chase Academy could avoid the defeat as the Clippers held on for the big win, 81-60, the jump to fourth and in a big four spot. I would say it's hard luck for us because we could play better and we have a better team and a better coaching staff and we just, we just didn't come over here game. Tonight we come in with a little more effort and we come in with more aggression tonight. Well, I know I'm really confident in the game because all the players on the team play basketball over 10 years and know they understand the game. So I really wasn't stressing the game. I just come in with confidence to win. Police can still claim a spot in the big four but they have to be defense force this evening. Now if they don't, then their last game against the Clippers on Thursday is a must win for both teams as they may go into a three-way tiebreaker, which could see Brian Chase miss out. Ian Wayson, TTT Sports.